presented by Church Tech U. It's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, how to add PDF chord charts to ProPresenter. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. Before we get started, if you really love ProPresenter or you're just excited to learn more about it, go ahead and uh, hit the thumbs up button if you're watching this on YouTube. One of the great things that ProPresenter has is flexibility. And that's kind of why I have a job, to be quite honest, because it is so flexible that sometimes people get overwhelmed. Well, one of the things that people have been doing for a long time is adding chord charts in the notes section in ProPresenter. That works perfectly fine. Unless you want to use the notes section for something else. Like a previous tutorial I showed where you could have different number of slides in the notes section from in uh, the main slide section and therefore show different slide uh, number of lines on different outputs. So what if you also need to put up chord charts? Well, how do you do that? Well, you do this. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. So here we are in Pro 7 and I've gone ahead and I've done this and I'll just show you a little bit of how I did it. So first off, let me go ahead, I'm going to hide myself just so that I can show this, which this is also a tutorial that I recently released. Um, so let's do the tall operator screen. So when I click on this, you'll see that I have four lines of text up here and two lines of text down here. And there's a tutorial um, that you can watch to figure out how to do that. I'll leave a link in the description below. But notice here that in addition to that, I also have slide uh, just a chord chart here. And so that follows along here and I even was showing the next slide here I only have the two slides added but you might be wondering how did I do that well let's let me go back up here just to make this a little neater the first thing you want to do is you want to create your PDF all I did was I uh, pasted that into Pages. Word would probably work. I don't know, but I'm on a Mac, so I went with Pages. And I changed the background to black just to make that easier to see, better contrast, things like that. Changed the text to white. And I put one verse per page on the PDF. So then what I did was I right-clicked and I went into Edit Slide here. And when you select a slide, notice we've got the three tabs here. Click on the slide tab. And notice that there's a place for chord chart. So what I did is I just clicked choose. And I selected the Amazing Grace chord chart. Click open. Now when you do that, notice I created this as a... Um, uh, as landscape. I could have done that portrait just however the layout makes sense. I'll show you that here in just a second. But I created that. I'm going to want verse 1, so I'm going to choose this one on uh, page 1. I could have just as easily chosen the one on page 2, which is verse 2. Uh, the one on page 3, which is, you guessed it, verse 3. Or the one on page 4, which is of course, verse 4. So depending on the appropriate slide, I select that. I'm just going to go there, hit select. And now, in addition to having the two lines here on the main slide, the four lines in the notes, I've also got the PDF chord chart. Now, displaying that is actually pretty simple, but you have to go into your stage display to create a layout that shows that. So let me do just that. We're going to go into screens and then go down under stage here to edit layouts. And 
you'll see that I've already created one basically. I just clicked here and selected blank layout. I uh, renamed it to chord chart and next slide lyrics and I just click this plus and you have a choice for chord chart. So that's what I chose. Um, and I clicked it again and added a section for next slide text. So that would give the text of the next slide just to help out the singers in addition to this. Um, so you'll notice that this isn't full screen. I just wanted to have both of those things in there to help in both cases. But since we have multiple stage layouts that we could um, use in ProPresenter 7. I could have made one just for singers and just for musicians and uh, done it that way. But instead, since this is a 1080p screen, I decided to make this 19 or 1280 by 720. So you'll see that it's 1280 by 720. So it doesn't take up the full amount of space. And then I just uh, positioned it, you know, up here, smack dab in the middle, but towards the top, and then with this one, I squished it down to where the next slide text fits in there. So, doing that, as I say, if I go back here into the tall operator screen, I'm not going to strike that down, but you do see that um, we have how this changes, the text here in the two lines changes when I go back and forth and the stage display changes because there is no next slide. If there was a next slide then that would change as well. So that is how you add PDF chord charts in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content I bet you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So if so just go on to TDM dot fyi slash pro seven quick and you can uh, just sign up right there and get a login to join that course for free until next time this is paul allen clifford from trinity digital media.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity